Hi, Sue Ann. Hello, Bob. <laughs> Hi, wonderful <laughs> friend. <laughs> Sue Ann is the co-founder with me of Homes on Wheels Alliance and the executive director of mm -hmm. Homes on Wheels Alliance. And we have an enormous, enormous yes. announcement. Uh, Sue Ann, a drum roll, please. Drum roll. And, and uh, you do the announcement. <laughs> we are having the 2022 RTRs, the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous here in Quartzsite, Arizona. We're back in Quartzsite. And the events will be at the Quartzsite Town Park, just behind us. Right, so the dates are, I can't remember them because my <laughs> brain's old, uh, are January 14th and the 15th, that's for the women's RTR. Mm -hmm. And the 16th through the 23rd is the uh, all, everyone comes to the RTR. Uh, so those are the two dates. Mm -hmm. And then on the 24th through the 26th, we're going to do an online RTR. A lot of you can't come, you've requested the classes. So we'll do an online class mm -hmm. that you can go and watch uh, the classes the week of 24th and 26th, those few days. Right. So we wanna give you a lot of details today about, the, uh, about where it's located. It's actually in the town of Quartzsite. If you know Quartzsite at all, then you recognize the Jets. If, uh, that's, this is the, by far the main park here in Quartzsite. Right, right, it is. And uh, it is next to the library and the town hall. So uh, right on Plymouth uh, and Quail Trail, that's the cross streets. I'm looking right at the library. And so probably a lot of you know and come to use the mm -hmm. library. You can get free internet, you can use the library. And so if you know where the library is, then you know where the park is because it's exactly a kitty corner across the street. Mm -hmm. And we'll put up a map here uh, to show you how to get in and all the directions. But uh, so how can people camp here, Sue Ann? It is not legal to camp in the town of Quartzsite, including at the town park. So no camping here. But uh, we are uh, literally, if you're a good walker, we're within walking distance of BLM land here. So lots of BLM surrounds us. Uh, you can walk, you can drive, you can bike, you can motorcycle in. Uh, it's, it's about as uh, central as we can get to the BLM landing court site. Right, it, and if you, the whole idea of the RTR, we hold the classes, we mm -hmm. hold classes here. They've actually allowed us to use the baseball field. Correct. We'll set up a stage uh, at home plate, and then we'll set in grass, come to the desert and set in right. grass. And we'll set up, uh, we'll have lines for you to bring your chair mm -hmm. and sit out in the outfield around home base. And that's where the classes will be, all the activities will be. We got a little bit of a late start this year because of COVID. You know, we, we, we've been waiting a long time for COVID to get, we think, settled down enough that this is safe. We are asking everyone to follow uh, COVID guidelines. Can you right. walk us through those? Well, whatever the CDC guidelines happens to be at the time, and it's a kind of a moving target right now. It sure is. Um, I was just this morning looking at the website. They are recommending social distancing and a mask wearing. Uh, we, the good news is this is an outdoor event, so you can't get much safer. We just avoid congregating close, uh, except for those people that you share a household with, according to the CT CDC. And we'll try to set up the venue in a way that is as safe as possible as, as well, so that people are not kind of gathering really close together. So far, it looks like COVID virtually is uh, shut down just by being outdoors. Right. Uh, and so we think we're really safe to hold this outdoors. It will be entirely outdoors. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I don't think that'll be a problem. We'll be have seating in the outfield. There's, we think there's plenty of parking. We'll go over the parking with you. Um, and so uh, it's right in the center of Quartzsite. It can't be more central inside Quartzsite than it is. We think this is gonna work real well. Now, uh, where can you camp? And that's, the main thing about the RTR is gathering with friends, right. making friends, building community, and as it grew, if you if you don't know, the last one we held on BLM land was 10,000 people. Well, you can't get to know 10,000 people. That's just impossible. So we look at it as your neighborhood. Right. Welcome to my neighborhood. And so wherever you go and camp, that will become the community you are building. And 
if it's not the community you want, then of course you can just move. It's BLM land. You can go anywhere you want. That's why we have keys in our homes so we can drive away. Um, so I'm recommending that you use freecampsites.net to find the area you want to camp in. If you, we all go to freecampsites.net. They have a bunch of the areas listed out. They have a GPS point. And we can't all camp on those GPS points or we'd fill them. But if we all kind of met at the central GPS point and then just scattered her out because they're all, you know, there's miles of camping around those points. Go out and camp, find friends, make friends, create your own neighborhood. And that's how we'll build community, camping community, right here in Quartzsite. And then we'll come in to the central RT bar. And then the other um, resource that you have for camping is that we will have the caravans, the Howa caravans in this area concurrent with the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. So you can always go to the caravans webpage and find a caravan to connect with. Again, it'll be in the BLM area around Quartzsite. And how can they find the caravans page? The caravans page is at homesonwheelsalliance.org slash caravans. Or you can go into the uh, homesonwheelsalliance.org, click on programs and then select caravans from that page. So the caravans are, uh, uh, just to quickly describe them, they're a small group. They have to be less than 75, really mm -hmm. we want them to be less than right. 50, uh, that meet and then you travel together, you make friends and you travel together and you bond. Uh, and we have just all the caravans do is designate a meeting spot. Same thing here, just mm -hmm. meeting spot in Quartzsite. And this is a very specific meeting spot for the caravans. And if we need to make more, we'll make more. We will. So we will. that's a way you can build your neighborhood uh, just come to a caravan and you got a built-in neighborhood. Now, uh, in the past, is this the 12th annual? This will be the 12th annual, yes. The 12th annual Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. In the past, I have done it. I put it all together. It's so far outgrown me. It long ago outgrew me, but I kept doing it. So it is now a function of Homes on Wheels Alliance, the 501c3 nonprofit that Sue Ann and I co-founded. Mm -hmm. We've kind of done the introduction here. This is just to give you a reference point between, if you know Quartzsite at all, uh, or if you just put Quartzsite library into your GPS, into your phone, it will bring you right to this spot because there's a library. I can throw a rock and hit the library. So it'll bring you here. And when you get here, you'll see right above my corner, I put it there very much on purpose, is the sign that says North, what is it? It's uh, North Plymouth Road and East Quail Trail Street. The city is very specific mm -hmm. in how they want us to lay traffic out and where people can park and where they mm -hmm. can't. And we want to keep the city of Quartzsite very, very happy. We can do this if we do our part and treat them right, treat the land right, mm -hmm. we'll keep doing this. Yes. Uh, but it, de it depends on us doing it right. So they want us to drive in a cer certain specific way and we'll go and show you those places. We'll put a map up. You'll see us exactly. You'll know what's going on. But so if someone puts it in their GPS to go to the library and they come here to this intersection, mm -hmm. what do they do next? When you get to uh, Quail Trail in Plymouth, you're going to make a left on Quail Trail. And that will be, you'll be going west at that point. And then you're going to go to the first street and that's past the community center. And that street is Emerald. You're going to make a right on Emerald and then just go a little ways to Chandler and make a right on Chandler and just follow that and that will take you to the main parking lot. And we'll have a, a parking volunteers there that will direct traffic so that you'll know where to go. If you have a big rig, we'll direct you one place. If you have a van size rig or smaller, we'll direct you another place. We believe there's plenty of room for mm -hmm. the big rigs. Uh, better if you can join with your friends and not bring your big rig, but if you have to, there will be parking mm -hmm. here for them. And we'll also have handicapped parking up close to the event area. Right. Uh, the city wants it, the traffic to flow one way because they're narrow roads mm -hmm. and they're very careful about where we cannot park. Yes. So there will be no parking signs and we are asking you just to cooperate and don't park in the no parking areas. That's something that the city will not tolerate. Right. Uh, you don't want that problem on your hands. We don't want that problem on our hands. So it'll be a one way flow of traffic. We'll show you on the maps and, um, and parking only in designated parking. Correct. Okay, so uh, 
we'll go now and uh, show you where, where, where the RTR itself will be. Let's go. Okay, so just let me uh, show you this corner so you get your bearings. This is the corner of North Plymouth and Quail. It's got the jets. Uh, you can't miss the jets. And the ballpark is literally just right behind the, uh, the jets. So we'll turn around and we'll look south down Plymouth. Uh, right down there, down Plymouth, is uh, Discount Solar. So on Main Street, if you go to Discount Solar, that's Plymouth. Uh, the family dollar is uh, one building over. And so that's how you know you're at Plymouth. Uh, and then uh, right over here is the library. So just put in the library and you'll come to the corner of Plymouth and Quail and you'll know exactly where you are. And I moved around and I'm over in uh, the ballpark, but I'm looking back, as you can see, there are the jets and there's that intersection of Plymouth and Quail. And right over behind them, there's the library. So that's the, the corner of Plymouth and Quail and there's the library. So now that gives you a, a reference point Literally, it's just kitty corner across the way from the library. Let's come back out. So after you leave the library, you'll drive down Quail. Oh, not even, not a quarter mile. And so you drive down Quail. And so you'll drive down Quail. And then when you see the community center, you're going to turn right after it. So that's the community center. And we'll have people out. You, there's, we'll make sure you know where you're. You're not going to get lost here. We'll make this really simple. You come in. You do a U. Basically, you do. A, you go in 100 feet, do a U-turn, come back, and you're in the parking lot, which is where we're now. Once you're in the parking lot, uh, you'll park and you'll come over, and this is the ball field. So now you'll be at the ball field. So now we're going to show you the actual setup of the RTR itself. We're at the ball field and that will be the core. You saw this is just the big empty parking lot and how to get in. Now we're looking at where things will be once you get here. So you're, you got an idea what's going to go on first. So, so Ann, why don't you walk us through that? Sure. So the center point of the event portion of the RTR is the stage and that's where the speakers are and the sound system and all that. And that will be around second base in the dirt area of the ball field. And then beyond second base in the grass area is where you bring your chair or your blanket and you'll be able to relax and or watch the uh, presentations or just uh, interact with people. Um, you know, do that community thing that we do. And then within the ball field itself, we'll have some booths. So some sponsor booths. We're looking at possibly having some vendor booths. And that's where the bulletin boards will be. So there'll be a bulletin board for if you want to offer something to the community, community and another bulletin board if you need something from the community. And you can go there, fill out a three by five card, post it, and it's just a great way to see what is being offered, see what people need, and just chat, chit chat with the people that are around there. And then on the outside, on the first base side, will be the welcome table, otherwise known as the information table or the button table, where we make name buttons, just on-demand name buttons for the 2022 RTRs. And also in this area will be the first aid station where we have people with, uh, the, that are trained that can help in case there's a, an, a, first, a first aid issue. Then the last thing I want to say that will be at the ball field are the porta potties, and those will be on the warning track on the first base side, and uh, they will be cleaned and pumped daily uh, for your use. And then in the parking lot area, there is a goalpost, and I looked at that and I thought, what can we do to keep people not driving on that goal, hitting that goalpost? And so we're going to put the free pile there, and you can drive by. If you want to drop something off, you can drop it off, or you can, of course, walk things over to that free pile. And if you've never been to a free pile, it's just a really cool way to get rid of those things that are still in good conditions that nomads can use, and a way for you to find things that you didn't know that you needed, or maybe you do know that you needed, and pick that up. So that's basically the layout for the 2022 RTRs.
Okay, to find out all the information that you need to find out about the 2022 RTRs as speakers are, are assigned to topics and topics are formalized, um, go to homesonwheelsalliance.org 2022 RTRS and you'll find all the updated information there. Thank you so much, Sue Ann. It's going to be a great event. I think I think everyone should come. Uh, we're going to camp right here in Quartzsite. We'll be, uh, the event will be right here in Quartzsite. Uh, I think you're going to have a great time. The last thing we want to say before we close is a huge, huge thank you to all the people whose hard work will make this possible. Yes. Volunteers uh, for HAWA, staff for HAWA, and I want to say thank you to the townspeople of Quartzsite who worked with us. They've never done a multi-day event like this, this large. And uh, so they really are entrusting their town park to us. They've just been over backwards. They've been great to work with. We are extremely grateful to the town of Quartzsite for, for letting us do this here. We want to do it right. We want to show them that uh, we can do these things really well and we can continue to have them here in the future. That's our goal. Yes. Make them really happy. So we want to see you here. Come, right? Come and join us. We um, want you. Come and join the caravans. Come and join the activities. Learn, share, uh, create community, build yes. bonds, life-changing friendships. Thousands of life-changing friendships could come, should come out of this event. And we're, we're hoping for that for you. So if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.